Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to those who are new to us or visitors. We welcome you. You give us a, 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 the new uh, a liveliness. We welcome everyone else who comes to fill the body of Christ here at St. Patrick Pio. There's something we do almost instinctively, maybe if we come into church and leave church, we, we do it automatically uh, in the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's a blessing that in a way we give ourselves, and th today is the, uh, we would call the, the uh, element of the Trinity, the inner life of God, and we, through the sign of the cross, we uh, our, we bring that to us, literally to our body. And so today, we especially welcome that uh, revelation of how the inner life of God is reflected in us and in all of creation. And so, again, we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your spirit. Spirit. We always need the assistance of, of the Lord. And so again, we ask Father, Son, and Spirit to touch our lives, deepen our faith. Lord Jesus, you show the way to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus. You are the source of truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the sign of the Father's love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. of your own life. 
and established it as the living pattern for, pattern for our own. Sustain our faith and fill us with your love and peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In our first reading, uh, Moses goes up the holy mountain the second time. First time he came down with the commandments and destroyed them because the people no longer lived in God's covenant. So Moses goes back up and encounters God. And, and in the process, we uh, learn some of the qualities of, that are involved in, in who God is. In our second reading, uh, <coughs> Paul gives us a wonderful greeting that we hear often. In fact, we heard it already uh, this morning. A greeting which has so much packed into it about God and about us. Uh, the greeting, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. That's uh, the gift of the second reading. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood in Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord. A merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff necked people. Yet pardon our weakness and sins and receive us as your own. The word. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song is number 150, the song of the three children, number 150.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Men and ways, encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace, and a God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. The only holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the feel blessed uh, being uh, called to be uh, a, a priest and uh, um, happy with that. But if I had to pick on a second calling, uh, it would be that of a uh, probably a theoretical physicist working maybe at Fermilab or the Argonne Lab trying to probe the, the inner secrets of, uh, of matter, of what makes up the created universe. That would be an exciting thing to do, to push it back as far as you can. But, but even the best minds acknowledge that uh, all that interaction that goes on with the subatomic particles and all those other elements, very mysterious. You could, through science, only push it back so far. And at some point, there's the question of why is there anything, or how did it all begin? And really, the science can't quite answer that. That's uh, beyond uh, the capabilities of science, remarkable as it is. And what we do today at the Feast of the Trinity is to try to step back even farther than uh, the beginnings. See, what could possibly have created us? 
when I was uh, younger, we had the, the, the folk song era, and coming out of it uh, was one group that had been around for a long time, Peter, Paul, and Mary. And in a way, they were their own trinity. They, they harmonized together. They were able to come out, as it were, one voice, uh, their own version of trinity. Well, I'm not going to explain that inner working of God, St. Ignatius of Loyola, but compared it, though, to a music chord. Now, a music chord is a combination of several notes brought together, but what you hear is one sound, and in a way, that's the inner life of God. If there's something going on, interaction, relationship, love, that how do we know what's there? Father Richard Rohr speaks about just one element of the Holy Spirit. How do we know it's there? The Spirit is inside of us in our desire to connect and relate. Same thing that goes on in the subatomic world. What is it that's built into us that says, I need to relate, I need to interact with others? Uh, that's one sign of the life of God living within us, just as that inner life of God is one of relationship with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's in us just like our breath. And today we celebrate those signs of that life of God that's within us. A high school uh, teacher in her religion class uh, talked about the Trinity and assigned a question to her, to her students. She said, uh, which person of the Trinity do you relate best to at this time of your life, right now? And here are three students' responses to that question. Of course, there's a Trinity in them right now. But there's a boy, he wrote, my father and I have a zero relationship. I need a father right now, and since I can't turn to my own dad, I turn to my father in heaven. I sometimes talk to him about my problems the way I would like to talk to my dad about them. One of the other students, girl, wrote, My brother lives with my father and I live with my mother. Ever since my parents divorced two years ago, I hardly ever see each, uh, we never hardly see each other. I never thought I'd miss my brother, but I do. So now I kind of adopted Jesus as a brother. Finally, one more student, uh, another boy, talking about uh, where do you best relate to the Trinity at this point in your life? I mean, he wrote, just recently I began to pray to the Holy Spirit. I'm going to college next year. And I have no idea what I want to take up. I hope that the Holy Spirit will enlighten me. Anyway, I'm praying to him for guidance. It's a good question for any of us. Which person of the Trinity do I relate to now in my life? Something's going on within us. The Spirit connects us. We are connected with each other. The whole of creation reflects in some way or another the relationship with the Creator, and that includes our relationship with God. Which person of the Trinity do you relate to best? One more item. As you recall, last weekend we introduced our 
St. Padre Pio mission statement. What are we about? And here it is again. So I invite you to uh, read it along with me. Our idea is to pick up what's there so that it can be part of us in our membership here at St. Padre Pio. So who are we? We are a diverse Catholic family united in Christ's call for disciples. Inspired by the life of St. Padre Pio, we heal, serve, witness, and worship. With the Trinity, that's one reflection of unity. But there's another word, they're diverse, we're a diverse Catholic family. And what we want to do in the next few weeks is to uh, unwrap some of these elements that make up who we are in our parish life. And uh, the weekend of June 24th, 25th, we'll be especially celebrating our diversity. To prepare for that, uh, you'll notice that at the ends of each pew, there's uh, some pieces of paper and pencil. And what we'd like and invite you to do would be one person from each family to write down, we want to celebrate the diversity. And so we want you to write down uh, the nationality, uh, the group that in a way you come from. Not names, but just that na nationality. We'll compile those and celebrate them in a few weeks. And we'll take up a second collection for your results. We're not asking for money in the second collection. We just, after communion, uh, we'll uh, pick up your response on these uh, on these sheets. So again, from each family, one person can put down country of origin or nationality that you celebrate uh, in your family. So write that down, and in the second collection after communion, we'll uh, we'll collect those so we can in a few weeks celebrate our diversity. In our diversity, we again celebrate the unity. In our profession of faith, we, we come together in one voice to uh, declare who we are and what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and my life of the world to come. Amen. Good Lord, we again turn to you with our petitions. Uh, may the blessing of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit uh, direct us in how to respond. For vocations to all the ministries of the Church, priesthood, religious life, lay, and diaconal ministry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the ministries of public life, 
civic leadership, education, health, community service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we are for vocations to the ministries of liturgical life and prayer through the conversion of hearts and minds to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the strength to mend our ways and live in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the ministries of community building and confronting the world we love, with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the intentions of this Mass be heard, especially for Czeslav and Yanina Kursmuc, Constante Apilado, and all our parishioners. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord continue to animate us as an expression of your love that has entered this world. This is our vision and prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in singing hymn number 475. Come now, Almighty King, number 475. <laughs> So that 
in confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by the angels and saints, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as one voice as they acclaim. Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick Neal, St. Hilary, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained as your own. Graciously look upon the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever through Christ our Lord, that you bestow on us everything that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your disciples everywhere, the peace I give you, my peace is with you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of
Here is communion with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of your mission and of my proof, but only say the word of my soul shall be yours. Communion hymn is number 472. The wonderful, the three and the one. Number 472.
speech that indicates the uh, nationality of your, your family. So just place that in the uh, election basket. Thank you. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 We have a growing uh, religious education program and uh, we invite those who, young people, uh, can take advantage of that to register. If you register now, helps us plan for the next uh, school year. Uh, our uh, religious education coordinator, Yvette Cano, will be uh, available to take registrations right outside the gym. So she's, she's setting up office there. So you, you can uh, ask about the religious education program for our young people or, or sign up for, for next year. So that's, again, that's right, right by, by the gym. Also, again, our Split the Pot raffle continues to help benefit the school and whoever else uh, gets the other side of the split. So now's the time to uh, get some chances. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional hymn is number 479. O God, Almighty Father, number 479.